Welcome to Sweet Beat. Today, I'm going to show you how to run a Sweet Beat HRV session. Let's open up the app. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the baseline, even though we do recommend that you create a baseline. I'm going to tap the general icon and I'm going to select heart rate monitor. At this point, I have two options and it all depends on what type of device I'm using. If I have an athletic chest strap that supports Bluetooth low energy, I would select this one, top one, and it's going to look for uh, chest straps. But uh, today I'm going to be using the Vital Connect patch. So let's select Vital Connect. Now at this point, we assume that the patch is already on your body and ready to go. It detected the fact that my patch 1876, that's the sensor number, was connected and it authenticated it and secured it and we're ready to go. If at any time after you connect to your patch, you do want to check for a firmware update, we can tap the firmware update box and it says that a firmware upgrade is not required for my product. You might want to check that once in a while. If you do need a firmware upgrade, it will walk you through the process of upgrading. That's for another video though. So we're connected. I'm going to tap done. And now we're ready to go to our monitor. So let's start a new session. And here we have three options, session types. We can just monitor stress. We can do a heart rate recovery session if you're an athlete. Or if you're not, you're just interested in your heart rate recovery after exercise, or we can perform an HRV for training session. HRV for training sessions usually are performed first thing in the morning on a daily basis. So whether you're an athlete or someone just interested in tracking your HRV on a daily basis, it gives you a very nice graph and chart to track your heart rate variability over a period of time. But today, let's just do a standard monitor session. So right now, the device, my iPad, is connecting to my heart rate monitor. It was listening for a heartbeat, and now it's waiting for more data. We have to queue up quite a few uh, RR intervals before we can start measuring your heart rate variability. So the screen that we're seeing here is this is an animated EKG, but the RRs are correct. So as you see the variation in the spikes of the RRs, that's my actual RR data, but this is not an EKG, just an animation. If I tap stats, it gives me our statistical screen. And here I can see, start with this, my HRB, which right now is 32. I'm going to go back because I already hit a red stress level and I had an alert tagged on that to let me know if my stress levels achieve a certain level and that was the breath pacer. Once again, back to HRV, we have 44. My RMSSD, the root mean squared of successive differences, is 15. My heart rate is 84. Some other HRV metrics, which is the low frequency and the high frequency. This metric is used when we take the RR intervals and we put it through a fast Fourier transform and we can extract the different frequencies of your heart. The Lower frequencies relate to your sympathetic nervous system or your fight and flight branch. The high frequency relates to your parasympathetic nervous system or your rest and digest branch. This ratio is what we look at to measure your stress level. So your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems are always balancing each other. 
And the one thing we want to see is a balance. And we don't want to see someone that's too sympathetic dominant. And you don't want to see anyone who's too parasympathetic dominant. So everything is about balance. Since I am wearing the Vital Connect patch, I can see my respiration, which is now at 15 breaths per minute. Here are my RR intervals. And so that's 714 milliseconds. With Vital Connect, I can see the uh, calories that I've burned. And if I hit the energy, I can toggle between 62 calories per hour. That's my rate. And the amount of calories I burned during this session. We have skin temperature, so my skin temperature is 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Once again, we can toggle this. You hit that, and it'll turn into Celsius. Let's go back to Fahrenheit. The Vital Connect also can measure your amount of steps, and you're going to see daily or per session steps. That toggles. And your activity level, which is actually how many Gs that you're pulling when you're exercising. So you can see mine is relatively low right now. Let's tap the graph screen. Here we see the real-time graph of our RR intervals. And if I take my device and I turn it counterclockwise into landscape mode, we have the same graph that you saw before, but it's a little more, uh, it's easier to look at. And what we're graphing here in real time is your heart rate from your RR intervals. So we take every RR interval and multiply it as if that was your heart rate for the minute. And so you can see what your heart rate would be pertaining to, uh, according to your RR intervals. So here's the RR intervals. Here's my high frequency, my low frequency, my stress level, my HRV, and my heart rate. Now, if I touch the RR interval, I can see graphically my heart rate, my HRV, stress, LF, and HF. It's a pretty cool screen. We call it the Tron screen because it's cool. You can also select and deselect different metrics to view. So if I only wanted to view my heart rate, my HRV, that's what I would do. And just keep touching the labels, and it turns it on and off. So back to the main monitor screen. Once again, we can toggle through by hitting this label, through the statistics, our real-time graph, our animation here, which does show your HRV and your heart rate. Now, if you want to set your mood, because we're going to be saving the session. Press the smiley face. And you'll have all different options. I feel kind of loving right now. This is your battery. Shows you your Vital Connect battery in the state of your battery. What you'll find with the battery is it has a tendency to um, show very high, and then when the battery does run down, it, it, has a, it falls off a cliff. But you'll be able to monitor that. Here's the length of your session. And here's our stress bar. So as my stress levels increase and decrease, this bar is going to change. So right now, I'm at a level yellow, which is warm. I'm talking. That's very, very reasonable. So here is a very cool, as if you were laying on the couch and you weren't moving or even talking. This is a little more, this is warm. Orange, you're getting a little excited, and red means that you've maxed out on your stress level. So it's something good to, uh, to look at and keep in mind on a daily basis. I swipe the screen to the right if at any time I want the breath pacer. And the breath pacer is here, and this is a, um, the inhale and the exhale is specific to try to relax you with the amount of time on the inhale and the exhale. 
if I'm interested in seeing some breath pacer options, I can turn the breath pacer off. I can turn audio cues on. I can also turn vibrate cues on. So this is what's going to notify me when my stress levels get too high. Also, this gear, if I touch that, I see the relax options. I can either use my default images or I can actually choose images that I want to see. And you can choose your images from your camera roll. Some people like to put pictures of their children or their pets on the relax options and you can put them at the different levels. So let's go back to the monitor screen. This gear gives you your monitor options. We have many different types of alerts. You can set an alert for a heart rate exceeding a certain point, and here's your threshold. Right now it's at 180 beats per minute. We can also turn the stress alerts on and off. So this is what's going to turn your uh, breath pacer screen on. So if you're not interested in your breath pacer, I, I would leave that off. Also, we can modify what stress threshold we want to uh, alert on. So right now, if I was interested, I could alert on yellow, which is warm. But I'm going to move that back to red. Also, there's sensitivity level. And part of our algorithm is we actually learn about you. And one of the things that we've noticed is some people just have higher sympathetic tone. And so what you can do is if you appear to be in the red zone all the time, that's not going to help you. So we can reduce the level down to one or two. And that's going to reduce the sensitivity so you can actually see the difference when you're in the blue, green, yellow, orange, or red, because that's what's important. It isn't really important to see what level you're at. You want to see what you can do to change those levels. And if you're in the red zone all the time, it's not going to help you. Now, if you seem to be too low all the time, you can increase it up to level five. It makes it much more sensitive. I'm going to put mine back on level three, which is the default. So let's go back to the monitor screen, and I'm going to stop my session now. I've had close to a 10-minute session, so I'm going to hit the stop button. And immediately my session summary comes up. And if I swipe to the left, I can see my statistics. I can see my LF and HF, known as power frequencies for the session, and at any time, if you only want to look at a certain level, everything is took place. And here is the uh, statistics screen. We can see our maximum. These are my maximum numbers. These were my minimum numbers for the session. And here are my average numbers for the session. So at this point, I'm going to save my session. And I have the option of entering my own tag, or I can use one of these can tags that we already have ready for you. So I'm going to enter my own. Giving instruction. And there we go. You're ready to start a new session if you'd like. I hope this has been informative and helpful. Please contact support at Sweetwater HRV if you have any questions or any comments. I love to hear your input, uh, especially on the product because we're making modifications all the time to make this better. Thanks.